Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, as we can see, we have Windows 11 on a Mac Pro 3.1 from 2008. In this video, I'll show you how to do it, upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now that we're at the Windows 10 desktop, let's get started. We're going to need Rufus to create a USB stick, and a USB stick of course, and a Windows 11 ISO. Go to Google, search for Rufus, and download the program from their website. Rufus will allow us to create a custom ISO that we can run from the USB stick in order to upgrade to Windows 11. Save it to your downloads directory, go back to search engine, go to Windows 11 ISO, and make sure to not use the regular upgrade assistant, but to actually download the ISO file. For that, you have to scroll down a little bit to download Windows 11 disk image, Select the option there, click on download, and then it will validate your request. Choose your specific language that you would like, in case we're using English here, and confirm. It will download the ISO file. This will take a little while according to your uh, internet speed. I have a full gigabit down, so it will run uh, a bit quicker than if you only have slow ADSL. And just wait for that to finish. Once you're done waiting, the ISO should have been downloaded. It should be in your downloads folder now. So now we can go to the next step. Open up your Windows Explorer, navigate to your downloads folder, and open up the Rufus executable that we've downloaded earlier. At the USC prompt, click yes to allow to make changes, and the program will start up as such. Select yes for updates, and now we can go to select to select our Windows 11 ISO. Select it as such, click open to add it to Rufus, and it should import. Leave the partition scheme at GPT and the target system at UEFI, and leave the image at standard Windows installation. Once we click on submit, we can select some custom options, which we will need in order to force it on this unsupported hardware. Nothing else needs to be changed. Click on the remove requirements, this one is very important and uh, all the other things are optional. You can create an account and skip the uh, privacy details if you uh, are in a hurry. This is mostly important for a clean install. We don't necessarily need to set them, but they are options. Then it will create the USB stick after checking that the ISO file meets all the checksums and you will be prompted to format your USB flash drive. The flash drive of eight gigabytes or larger is sufficient for this. A 16 gigabyte is a bit safer. Just wait for that to finish and we can go to the next step. Now that Rufus is done, we can actually start the installer by opening the setup exe on the USB flash drive. Close out of Rufus, go back to this PC and open the setup exe on the flash drive. Click yes at the USC prompt and setup should start in a couple of seconds. We can now install Windows 11. Click next and it will update the installer. It will get some updates for that, which it needs for some reason. Just to wait for that to finish. And once it's done with that, it will relaunch setup and check your PC for compatibility. There shouldn't be any issues here. So you can just click next, next, next. And we should be good to go from there. Once it's done, it will prompt you for what needs your attention that the PC does not meet the minimum requirements. However, we can bypass this by just clicking accept. Now we will check your hard drive space. If you have 64 gigs or more of free space, this should not be an issue at all. It should uh, fly through this uh, in a little bit. And uh, once it has determined that we have enough space, it should actually start to uh, upgrade your install from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Click install once it says ready to install. This will take a while. On my machine, I think this entire step took about an hour or so before it actually rebooted uh, to actually install the rest of the operating system. So be patient. And uh, yep, after the first phase, it should start uh, restarting. Then it will go into the configuration phase as uh, shown on the screen. It will work on updates, do all of its configuration work. And uh, shortly after it should reboot again and then uh, continue with the uh, configuration of the operating system you'll get the nice uh, flashy screen uh, that fades in and out. And once that's done, 
you should eventually arrive at your Windows 11 22H2 desktop, which is the newest version as of filming this video. So yeah, there you have it. Windows 11 on an ancient Mac Pro. We can see our dual Xeon CPU E5462 and our 20 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, we can now again, since 22H2, open Task Manager via the taskbar. And on the Performance tab, we can see our FB DIMMs, our Xeons, and of course our RX 570 graphics card. From the looks of things, everything appears to function as normal. We can go to Device Manager to see if we have any missing drivers. We might be able to solve those by installing the Bootcamp Assistant, but this hardware is old enough that Windows should be able to uh, make everything happen without any issues. We have our USB 3 card, perfectly detected. Fresco Logic over there. We have our Bluetooth that's built in on the airport card. We have the airport card itself detected because it probably moved the driver over from Windows 10. And we do have Wi-Fi networks available, so we can still use the built-in Bluetooth and wireless. So all that is very nice. Network cards are working fine. Some things, sometimes the audio is a bit iffy, but it's working as well. You can hear it in the background probably. So that's very nice as well. So overall, this was a pretty seamless experience. All you need is just one utility and a Windows 11 ISO. You can upgrade basically any hardware that's from the Core 2 Duo era or newer to get uh, Windows 11 working. Let's see if this uh, program has survived or hardware monitor. Yep, still detects everything properly. So yeah, Windows 11 on a 2008 Mac Pro. It's still very possible using the upgrade method from Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.